Hello, fellow drinkers at the Jolly Heretic, resident poet here, and a hello again to those of us joining from History Debunked. Now, as you can see, I'm now returned from foreign parts, replete with Anglo-Celtic tan. And last night's stream was on the subject of Britain's crumbling schools, which has been in the news this week. And it prompted me to write a poem. Schools breaking up is a phrase that means something different these days. Sadly, I fear it's not end of year, but collapse and a wider malaise. Also in last night's stream, somebody in the chat drew a comparison between Simon <coughs> Webb and Blakey from On The Buses, which I found very funny. I can just imagine Simon as Blakey. Get them videos out. I hate you, modernity. So uh, whoever came up with that, thank you very much. Now, uh, just a summary of poems written during my break. One of the guests we had on at, down at the Jolly Heretic was Nigel Bigart, who talked to us at least briefly on the subject of the British Empire. Our guest today is magisterial. He'll tell us of matters imperial. The lefties will carp, but they are not sharp, with opinions that are immaterial. So that was a very enjoyable stream and very entertaining. And slightly after that, Ed discussed the horrific case of the UK nurse Lucy Letby, who was convicted of the murder of several babies. I wrote some solemn lines on the subject. As we learn of killings vile by a lady full of guile, this killer was above suspicion as she planned her evil mission. Those in charge, they were alerted, but common sense they had deserted. In this tale of murderous nurse, I've seldom heard of matters worse. So a very tragic story. But hard on the heels of that, our guest was the writer and commentator Helen Dale, who talked to Ed about what it was like to have an IQ of 148. Our guest tonight is Helen Dale. Her achievements are quite off the scale. She hails from down under. Her books are a wonder. Let's raise a glass of fine ale. And then shortly after that, Ed's guest was a father, was Father Frank Gelly, a clergyman originally from Italy, who was a personal acquaintance of the right-leaning philosopher Julius Eveler. We welcome here Father Frank Gelly, born where they make vermicelli. He felt right at home with the Sufi of Rome. He really should be on the telly. So he was a very entertaining gentleman of a certain age. And on a more personal note over the last couple of weeks, one of my tweets on the subject of a new and very woke James Bond book was used in a video by Paul Joseph Watson, a British YouTuber who I'm sure some of you are familiar with. Very nice of him to do that. And here is a little poem in his honour. His channel's called The Prison Planet. From Sheffield, he's harder than granite. He's called PJW, but don't let that trouble you. He tells all the lefties to can it. So that was a quick recap of things poetical uh, written during my time off. And now, without further ado, it's time for today's funny story. It was George the Postman's last day on the job after 35 years. And when he arrived at the first house on his route, he was greeted by a woman who wished him well and gave him a congratulations card. At the second house, they presented him with a fine Monte Cristo cigar. The folks at the third house gave him a hundred pounds. The fourth house he came to was our friend Sharon's, and she opened the door to him wearing only her dressing gown. She took him by the hand and led him to the bedroom, where she blew his mind with the most passionate lovemaking he had ever experienced. Afterwards, she made him a delicious English breakfast, and when he'd finished eating, she gave him a pound coin. Sir George said, All this was just too wonderful for words, but what's the pound coin for? Well, said Sharon. Last night I told me husband Darren that today will be your last day and we should do something special for you. But he said, screw him, give him a quid. But the breakfast was my idea. So that was today's funny story. So that was just a roundup from me today of the Jolly Heretics output and that of History Debunked. If you did enjoy it, please do like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see each other very soon. Goodbye.